Hey, what's up, everyone? Good morning, purposeful, profitable entrepreneurs. It's a great Saturday. Welcome to August. Today, we're talking about business planning and profitability, one of my favorite topics. And today, I'm going to teach you one strategy that's layered for you to make money in your business for the rest of the year. We have five more months left in 2020. 2020 is still our year. It's still the year of the overflow. So today, we're going to talk some business strategies in terms of how you can improve, grow your revenue, and increase profitability for the rest of this year if you can see me and hear me clearly just say ready in the comments below so i know who's joining me and that we could jump right off into today's teaching so we're talking about business profitability and i'm going to teach you a strategy for your business to increase your income within the next five months of this year so a customer is most likely to buy from you if they receive value from you. And you guys are going to see me looking down from some, from time to time because I have some notes here that I made so I want to mention in today's training. A customer is most likely going to buy from you if they receive value from your product, right? I see those readies coming in. Good, good, good. Give me the energy. Uh, so if they receive value from their product, from your product, most likely this customer is going to buy from you. One of the things entrepreneurs tend to do is we tend to give little information up front and we keep the value on the back end of our service. And that is the first error you may be making in terms of your profitability. A client will usually choose to do more business with you if they have a small win with you that is significant enough that allows them to move on to other wins, then they will be most likely liable to buy your product or your service. Now, when we talk about a win, let's define what a win is and the strategy you want to employ in your business. You want to ensure that in your business, you have a free value product. Type that in the comments to me below, a free value product. Your free value product is going to be something that you give your clients for free, but that they can get a result when they use your system and your service, right? And you guys, excuse the noise in the background, it's election time, Trinidad and Tobago, so it's like music trucks everywhere. But I hope you guys can still hear me clearly. You want to make sure that your client gets a free value product from you. Let's talk about how we should design our free value product. A free value product, the first thing we want to do is to determine what is the tangible and the intangible goal of our product. Determine the tangible and the intangible goal of our product. So there must be a monetary goal in terms of your income and your revenue that you're trying to make with your business. And then there must be an intangible, that, that value that you give in exchange that your customer gets. So the first thing I want you to write down in your process is what is the tangible product, right? The tangible product is what is my money goal? How much revenue do I want to make from this particular product? That's a tangible thing. So write that down if you're taking notes. What is my financial goal for this product? Then you want to write down your intangible goal. And your tangible is what are the results that my clients will get? So my tangible goal is my monetary goal. My intangible goal is the result that my clients will get. You do this before you design the process because you want to make sure that the process, the product or the program that you design can cause you to hit the monetary goal, which is the tangible and can cause your clients to get the intangible, which is the promised result. So you're going to give this for free. So when you create your system, you're not going to cheat your clients in terms of holding back the information. Give your clients exactly what you're going to teach in your process because when people have a win with you, they are more likely to buy into your products and to your services. So don't give away everything in your free uh, product, but you need to ensure that you're giving away something. So you're creating, first of all, what is my monetary goal? How much money do you want to make for the next five months of 2020? I want you to write that down. That is your tangible monetary goal. How many people do you want to serve from now to the end of 2020? You writing that down as your intangible goal and also write down the result that this, these people will get once they interact with your business. Tangible, intangible. Now we're going to work backward from the goal. So now that we've set the goal, right guys, the next thing you want to do is determine what product can I sell that helps me to hit the income goal. Another mistake that we make sometimes as entrepreneurs is we create products and we are not creating in alignment with the income goal or the monetary goal that we want to hit. 
So we sit and we create a product and then we price it in a place that it does not allow us to hit our, our tangible financial monetary goal. For the last five months of this year, we want to make a specific amount in terms of income. You've written this down on your, on your note sheet. Now you're going to create a product that allows you to make this monetary goal and the product must have the value of the price that you need to charge to make this financial goal. So I want you to sit and you write down, what am I going to sell? What am I going to give in exchange that my ideal customer wants? that they will pay me for, that there's a perceived value for, that's going to allow me to hit my financial goal in the last five months of this year. After you do that, the first thing I want you to do is to record a video of what you're going to teach. If you're taking notes, somebody type it in the comments for me. Record a video of what it is you're going to teach. Now, time out for us as entrepreneurs being afraid of being in front of the camera. The quickest way for people to see your credibility to build no like and trust is in front of the camera. So we're not developing a pen pal relationship where we can just type and we can just text and we can just put posts on social media and that translates into sales. The quickest thing that's going to translate into sales is video interaction with your clients. So now that we are reverse engineering the product, the first thing that you want to do is to create your product in the, in the form of a video. This video that you're going to create, it is not the video that you're going to use for your audience. This video is going to be for you. So create a video of yourself. Log on to Zoom. Write exactly what you're going to teach. And I want you to teach it to yourself on Zoom. Get comfortable in front of the camera. So nobody is in, in, in your Zoom. You are the only one there. You are recording your Zoom, but you are teaching your content exactly what you're going to teach your client that's going to give them that intangible result. Teach it to yourself on Zoom because you just want to flow. You want Sometimes when we're writing, we get stumped. But when you begin to speak and you hear yourself say back the information, it's going to help you to translate it into your, your value product and your value service. So get on Zoom and record yourself teaching the content. This recording is not for perfection. This recording is to get all the ideas out of your head that you're going to put into your value product. So in addition to us writing the goal, writing the product that we're going to teach, we're going to jump onto Zoom and we're going to teach it. We're going to talk to Zoom and teach the content and share what we would like to teach, what are the results, what we would like to share with our ideal clients for the next six months in our value sequence. After, hey, after you do that Zoom recording, now what I want you to do is to get that Zoom recording transcribed. So Zoom is going to give you a video. You're now going to use that video and you're going to use something like Rev.com, Rev.com, or some of you may have heard with Melissa in terms of using designer to pull at the script out of your video and to create it into a transcript. This is what you're now going to use to create that value product. So you create the video, you teach to yourself on Zoom, you get that recording, you get the recording transcribed either using Rev.com, using Fiverr, a freelance service, using some format that can allow you to pull the text out of the video. When you get the text out of the video, this text is now going to be split into various products that you can use when you're teaching and giving your clients that ideal value. Is everybody following me? Are you lost? Are you guys, are you guys still tracking with me? Give me some feedback in the comments. I, you guys are really quiet today. Um, okay, so we teach the content to ourselves, right? And this is going to be the appetizer for our audience. This is what's going to allow them to buy that value product that we put on the back end. Now you're creating something that is in line with what it is you are going to sell. So remember we made the money monetary goal. Let's say it's $5,000 a month. So we want to create a product that is at least $500 to $1,000. So we need less people to hit our money goal. So we know that we are going to create this end result product that we're going to sell for $500 to $1,000 anywhere between that to be able to hit our monetary goal. We're going to go on Zoom and instead of brain writing, we are going to speech dump. We are going to teach ourselves and we're going to teach the content that we now want to create. Thank you, Leslie. We're going to teach the content that we now want to create in our product on Zoom. 
we are going to pull that recording and then out of that recording you are either going to tra transcribe it or have it transcribed for you that recording is now going to give you a written a PDF document that you are now going to give as value in different ways to your audience. Now that you, you've taught yourself the content on video, you are now going to extract the principles of what you have taught to yourself and you are now going to create content that you share on social media, on your Instagram and on your Facebook. You are going to pull the identical information because remember we're talking about value product. So we're not tricking people and teaching them um, something that is related to the, the concept. We are actually teaching the real value that we're going to teach so that they can generate a small win so that they can buy our higher, our higher end product. The key of winning in these last five months of 2020, guys, is to teach your value. Don't hide what you know and don't feel like you're going to run out because you're now going to split this information into various formats that's going to allow people to pay you top dollar for the information that you know. So once we get the transcript now of the video that we've taught, we're going to now pull out those ideas of the things that we taught and that's going to be our content. We're not creating content separate from the video. The content comes from the video. The video is now going to give us a transcript of the PDF of what we have shared and we are now going to pull one lesson from that video to teach and to make our official value product, right? So the video is for you. The video gives you the content, the video gives you the structure and the video gives you an outline of what you want to teach. Now that you have that outline, you're now going to prepare to release your first uh, value product online for free. We're going to pull one of the lessons out of that transcript that we have and we are going to now teach it live or on a webinar or we're going to have people register to come hear us teach a part of this system. You're going to extract that one value principle that you can teach your, your ideal customer that they will get a win. We are not cheating them. We're teaching the for real, for real, for real deal, right? Um, so you're extracting one part and you're going to teach that one part to your ideal customer. But remember, out of your transcript, you would have been sharing content on Instagram, sharing content on Facebook, and you would have been preparing your audience to now buy this value product that you will create to hit your income goal. Now, ideally, guys, we have three months to work this strategy. We have three months because November to December is the holiday time. So we want to make sure that we have, we are positioned in terms of the holiday season to have products that people are now looking for, goal setting, vision, heading into 2021, planning, and their mindset is now on the holiday season and going into the new year. So you have August, September, and October to kill this value product to, to ensure um, this is loaded. <laughs> So, and I want to make sure I'm going slow because I know I'm giving you guys a lot of information, but I'm giving you for real strategy that you can use to go increase your income in the last five months of this year. I am saying we're going to max this out in three months because November to December is the holiday time and people are transitioning into the new year. So we want to make sure we have a solid positioning with this system within the next three months which is why I chose to do this on August 1st because I want you guys to take the next three weeks to plan out your value product, right? Okay, so we get the transcript. We are now sharing this content on social media, on all our platforms, talking in, in the line of the value product. The free value product should not be far off from what you want to sell in the end. It must be linked to... So I can't say I'm going to sell you um, the ultimate vegan guide to um to being a vegan on a budget and then i'm going to sell you a freebie or i'm going to teach a freebie on um how to buy clothes or how to buy designer clothes on a budget no everything in my brand should lead to the ultimate end goal so if i'm teaching you how to be a vegan then my first lesson and my first value product should be something that gives you exact instructions of how to become a vegan because now i make sure that i have the ideal audience to buy my value product the secret guys is not creating a product secretly and just springing it on your audience because they will not be positioned to buy the secret is giving your audience value along the way and when you give them value along the way when you launch
that big product at five hundred to a thousand dollars you are going to get the sales and you're going to hit your income goal because you would have been giving them a small win i am teaching you guys for real strategy right now that i teach my my high-end clients that pay me top dollar to learn it i'm teaching you one strategy but i'm teaching you one strategy that is going to give you a win the actual content not cheating you not giving you part of it i'm giving you a full-on strategy that you can take after this video and implement in your business this is how you give your clients value because then they know okay if they give this much content for free i can't imagine what they give on the inside when i pay and if i get a win for free then i am more inclined to pay for a bigger win so you want to create a product guys that gives your clients a win for free that does not cheat them but allows them to say listen i took leslie's course i took this course and i was able to win so what else does she have that can help me to continue to win that was my little mini rant right so don't take your knowledge for granted because usually what you know your client does not know don't think that people know it and i shared this with my group last week one of my um my purpose revenue mapping groups yes most times the information that we are sharing can be found on google right google you can google the information and and you can find it but google does not give you a sequential format of how to follow and how to create and how to get a result Whatever you type into Google, Google is going to feed you back whatever you ask it. But you are now creating a product for your client that probably takes information that's on Google, yes, but it gives them a sequential order and a format to use that information to get a result. That is what your client is paying you for. They're not paying you because the information is on Google. They're paying you because you were able to put the information into a process that can allow them to get a win. I am putting information into a process right now that get, gets you guys to win. So the first part of our strategy, if you're following, I'm recapping. First part of our strategy is what is my monetary goal, my tangible? How much money do I want to make each month and the last five months of this year? How much people do I want to serve and what is the result that I want them to have at the end of these five months of the year? My tangible, my intangible. What am I going to create for these people? that is going to give me this revenue goal and that is going to give them the result this is now the product that you are going to create when you write the product that you're going to create now what you're going to do is that you're going to teach that product to yourself on zoom and you're going to get all the information out of your head not in a sequential order not in perfection you just want to get all of your ideas out on video I'm calling that a video dump versus a brain writing or a, a writing dump. So I talk to myself and I teach everything that I want to teach. So at the end of this course, my clients will be able to now take this strategy and create a product that allows them to increase their revenue within one month. I'm giving you an example of why I'm teaching this to you guys today. So I am creating this video that's going to help my clients to launch a product that increases their revenue in one month. In this training, Krisha, what you want to teach them is how to go from an idea to execution and how to move that idea forward to execution. You also want to teach them how to get streams of income out of the product. So even if they don't have the confidence to charge $500 to $1,000, they can charge a lower, pro a lower price, but they have more ways to make that money. That's what I'm going to say to myself in the brain dump. And that's going to get my ideas flowing. Then I'm going to get that transcribed. And that is now going to become my content. So on my content, on my page, I'm going to say, guys, I am going to teach you a strategy that is going to help you to significantly increase your income in one month once you use my step-by-step -step process. Listen what I'm going to do on Instagram. On Instagram, I'm going to create a carousel, which is a 10-frame um, post that is going to t t tell them step by step what I'm about to teach them in my training. So in my training, carousel number one is going to say, I'm going to teach you how to increase your income in one month and how to win for all of 2020. Then I'm going to put carousel number two. This is what we're going to do. We're going to learn a strategy to create a product that we can charge between $500 to $1,000. Carousel number three is going to say, I'm going to teach them how to take their ideas, share it on video, and now get it transcribed and create multiple products. Carousel number four is going to say, 
We're going to get a, a minimum of five products out of our transcript and we're going to teach and give value to our audience. Carousel number six is going to say, um, if you are interested in this process, join my Facebook group XYZ so that I can teach you strategy number one. Carousel number seven is going to say, on August the 15th, I am teaching a live training that helps you to use my system to increase your income for the last five months of this year. On carousel number eight, I'm probably going to say, share this with some friends, join the group right now, and don't forget to join us on August 15th, where I'm going to teach you my strategy. So the information that I've said to myself in the video, anybody following me, is this helping anyone? I want to I wanna ensure that I'm going slow enough and that this is helping you guys to get a strategy to increase your income in the last five months of this year. Is this good? Is this good? Let me see who is, who is on with me because I don't know why I'm not seeing the comments coming through. Let me see. Let me see who I have rocking. Oh, I see you, Paulette. Okay, let me see. She says she's ready to learn. Hey, Luan. Luan says this is loaded. Hey, Krista. Okay, good. So I see I have some people rocking with me. It's phenomenal. Okay, good. So, right. So I taught the information to myself in video. I got the transcript. The transcript is going to become my content. On Instagram, I'm going to do carousels and I'm going to teach exactly what I'm teaching in the lesson. But remember, Instagram gives you a character uh, limit. So you're not giving away too much information. You're giving away exactly what your client can expect to learn. And those people who get value from your post, guess what they're going to do? They're going to save that post. They're going to share that post and they're going to invite some friends. When they come into the group now, this is where now you're going to take the transcript and you're going to teach one lesson. So you're going to, after that video that you've taught to yourself, there's going to be so much information in there that you can extract one. And let's say I'm going to teach now in the case of what I'm teaching you guys today. And I'm using it as an example in the inverse to make this clear for you guys. I'm going to teach one strategy to help you increase your income in the next five months. So I'm going to pull that one strategy, which I'm actually doing today, right? So I'm teaching you what I'm teaching you to do and showing you how to do it at the same time. <laughs> so... When they come and I do that first video product, guys, please be comfortable being on video. I'm extracting one of my concepts from my transcript and I'm going to teach that exact thing online to my people who have been following my content, who were on my Instagram. I'm going to teach them lesson number one. From the transcript, I am now going to create some downloadables and some e-resources that I can now give them as value. So I'm going to create a check sheet. Remember, we created a carousel that says these are the 10 steps that you can learn when you get into this program. Out of that carousel, I'm going to create a check sheet that says, number one, this is what you do. Number two, this is what you do. Number three, this is what you do. Same content, different format, another way to give value in addition to my carousel that my customer can now take and they can track with me along as we're building the product and I'm teaching them. The second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get it transcribed into a PDF, a downloadable or an ebook and I'm going to sell the training as an actual thing that you can get in exchange for what? Income, a stream of income. So I'm now going to extract that training, put it into an ebook, sell the ebook, and create one stream of income right there. I'm going to take the points of the carousel and create a check sheet that tells you to get this result, you have to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's going to be a check sheet that I give the people when I teach the value live and when I create that video. When I create that video, that video is now going to be on my Instagram, my YouTube, and my Facebook. Because the point of this video is to teach them that they get a win and then they want more of my products that increases my income stream. When I teach them that one part of the training, I'm now going to give them the checklist for free. But the checklist was created from the content that I taught to myself on video had it transcribed, and then I'm now creating resources out of what I taught myself live on video. I mean, I'm giving you guys real game today. Hey, Rawl. <laughs> I'm giving you guys super, super game, right? Okay, so we have the PDF, we have the check sheet, 
we have the content for Instagram, we have the content for Facebook, we move them to live interaction, and we teach live. After we teach live, am I going too fast? Are you guys taking good notes? Is everybody tracking? Let me know. Let me know in the comments if we're tracking, if we're taking good notes, if we're following, if this is good. I mean, because I could stop teaching now. If this isn't helpful, we could just, like, forget it. But let me know. <laughs> so, we give the check sheet away for free. So, you're on my live training. I give you the check sheet for free. And then, there's an option for you to now buy the PDF, which gives you the full system of what I have teach <laughs> you're trying to keep up I know I get excited every time I'm giving people information that's going to help them win I probably should have done a graph for this to show you guys um, maybe I'll do that after okay so we know we're doing the video we know we're getting a transcribe we know the transcript is going to give us content for Instagram and for Facebook then we're going to take that transcript and create some resources. Downloads, check sheets, and ebook, right? After we create the ebook, which is a PDF format, and we create the check sheet, we are giving away the check sheet for free. We now teach one part of the training for absolutely free video. After we teach that video, we give away that check sheet for free on the video and we give them an opportunity to get the full system in the form of an ebook which they can now buy for anywhere between 10 to 20 dollars that gives them the full system of everything that we're going to teach once they get the ebook and they start getting results we are also going to offer them to come into um uh, uh so this is the free value product after the free value product we now move them to where they can come into a group setting. They can pay a fee and we can walk them through the full system. On the second level, those who got the results from the first training video, when I offer them the second training and I say this training is, let's say $95, um, $100, anywhere within that bracket, right? 100 to, let's say, $300. Then... Some people who saw my video on Facebook or on Instagram or on YouTube and the reason we're putting the video on YouTube is because we want to get the link for the video to put in our Instagram. So when we keep putting content on our Instagram, we can say, I have done a free training video for you. Click the link that is in my bio and that link is going to take them to YouTube where you have the video of you giving the full training that now points them back to your website or your Facebook where they can now say, okay, I want to buy into this program because I want to learn more. After that, we're going to bring them now into a group where they pay a fee to learn the entire system. Remember I said we're making anywhere from $500 to $1,000 within that month with this product. So think about if we bring them into a group and we charge them $100 and we get 10 people in the group, we've made an additional $1,000 that, that touches our income goal of 5 k additionally that we want to make in profit. If we're selling that ebook for $10, chances are more people will buy the ebook or the resource than will take your, your course or your, your, um, your online training. Selling that ebook now is going to bring an additional stream of income into your business. So you're going to teach it, you're going to sell it. And then you're going to give people an option who say, you know what, I want to work with you one on one to learn this system and to actually execute what you are teaching me. These people are now going to pay a higher price anywhere from $500 upward. So remember, I have 10 people in a group that are paying a lowish mid-range price. I have the PDF that I'm selling. That's just the ebook or the e-guide that I'm selling. That's going to be another stream of income. And I have the ability to work with me one-on-one -on -one, and I coach you on this system and that's another stream of income. We have created three streams of income from one value product, recording this content one time, extracting it, teaching it as value and getting people to buy into what we are teaching to increase our revenue as a business owner. 
and that's the full teaching guys in terms of what I wanted to teach you guys and how to um, increase your income in the last five months of this year by teaching what you know and teaching what you do and creating value products do we have any questions before we end i wanted to make sure this this training was 30 minutes and we're right on 30 minutes so let me know if we have any questions in terms of this now if you are saying that i'm going to drop a couple links in here for you guys because i actually created a a planner that gives you what you should post for 21 days to be able to convert people into sales that planner i believe is five us dollars so i'm going to post that link in the group as well I'm also going to post um, no course, no problem, which is a challenge that I did. But that challenge helps you to pull this course, exactly what I'm teaching today, and convert it into a product. I give you step by step in five videos how to create a course and how to sell it, how to market it, how to deliver it. And then you also have an option of if you want to work with me one on one. My last group for 2020 starts next Tuesday to work with me one on one to create your signature program and to rapidly 10x in, uh, your income in a short space of time. You're not active on Instagram. Need to be. You are on fire. Oh, <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, choose in terms of social media palette. What I would say is you have a primary and secondary. Your primary is where your audience is most likely. So if your audience is a Facebook audience, it's fine to be on Facebook and not on Instagram, but you want to have a secondary platform. That secondary platform could be a LinkedIn, could be a YouTube. You want to think, where does my client hang out? So if your client is not on Instagram, you don't necessarily need to be on Instagram, but you may be able to use it as a visibility platform. So some platforms are just visibility to get your message out there. And some platforms are sales where you actually get clients. So your primary is where you get sales. You want to make sure that you're showing up strong on your primary, but you also have to have a secondary. So identify what that secondary is, where your people are and show up there. And it may be more visibility, but visibility does translate into sales over time because people would have been seeing your message. Um, will the live remain up for at least 24 hours? Yes, I will leave the live up. LinkedIn will be a secondary. Okay, good. I'm looking at I'm looking at the comments. Anybody has any questions? So I said it was bus business blitz today. So I also want to answer in addition to the training that I give you guys, if you have any specific business question that you need an answer for or help with, I'm going to answer those as well. So I'm going to give five minutes to answer any business question. Once I have an answer that, that could help you um, for business blitz, which is going to be quick surefire strategy to help you increase your income in your business in the last five months of this year now guys technically i like to say we were only working with three months because the last two months in terms of holiday time it's kind of you know hit and miss you have to have a real strong strategy so we want to come in these three months hard so the latter part of the year that our business can still be sustained even though it's holiday time and people are preparing to transition into 2021. And with COVID, we don't know what the end of this year is going to look like. So you want to make sure that you go hard in these three months to make sure that you ramp up that income goal for the end of 2020. Any specific questions that I could answer for you guys in terms of business? Was this strategy helpful on a scale of 1 to 10? Let me know how helpful this strategy was for you guys. 1 being the lowest, 10 being the highest. Um, let me know how helpful this strategy was for you guys on a scale of 1 to 10. 1 being the lowest, 10 being the highest. How helpful was this business um, strategy for you all? <laughs> well, it says 11. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. On a scale of 1 to 10, how helpful was this strategy for you guys? Now, tell me, on a scale of 1 to 10, how likely are you to do the things that I taught in this strategy? 1 being, I'm not likely to do it. 10 being, I'm going to try. I'm most likely going to do it. Tell me, on a scale of... <laughs> she said 11. Well, I'm glad that at least one person is going to do... Oh, Krista says 20. Okay, good. I'm happy. I'm happy about that. Um, this was so amazing. Good. I'm glad you guys found value in this training. And if we have no other questions, you're welcome, Luan. Um, does anybody need me to recap the steps again? Or are you guys just going to go over the replay? And are we good to go? Are we good to go? 
My pleasure. As you guys can see, I'm very happy to train you and teach you on this stuff for absolutely free because I want you guys to win. 10, will do. Okay, good. So we have no other questions. If we have no questions, then we are done. Then we are done. Chris says, honestly, nine. Okay, so you're most likely going to do it, which is good, which is good. All right, you guys, have an amazing day. I'm going to leave the replay up. Um, I don't know if I'm going to leave it up indefinitely or for 24 hours. I'll kind of tell you guys how that goes. I'm also going to share those links where you can get some of the resources that I have if you feel like they will help you um, to crack out your product. Um, so ideally, you can... How do you build an audience? Putting yourself out as a new professional face. Oh, great question. Great question. This value concept is going to help you to build an audience. The audience is only built when they get value out of your content. So um, inspiration does not build an audience. Results do. So if you inspire people, they will just like your content and be like, oh, that's cute. But if they use actual steps that you teach and, um, and they get a result out of it, then they're likely going to share that information and you're going to build your audience faster. For example, I had two um on two occasions last week on on instagram people inbox me there are people that i don't know that just started following me and one lady said that she looks forward to my post because every time i post i give so much value and so much content that she loves my brand another person said that your brand is so professional and i like everything that you share i've been able to create a course from the free content that you've given so i'm now checking out the other stuff that you have I give free content on in my group. Uh, if you're in this group, I give free content that you can take and you can go win with because it doesn't jeopardize my sales and that builds my audience because people then go tell their friends, oh, you have to join this group or they tag people in the video or they share the content because they are like, use this and you're going to win. Whatever is your best strategy, get out there and teach it. You're not giving away something that you can sell because when you're selling it, you're going to increase the value higher and if you're teaching one part of a system, chances are you have four other parts or five other parts or six other parts. So if you teach one, you don't lose. So teach one and max that one out, but ensure people can get results free. Anybody who is following me can build a course for free if you take the tips that I give. But then if you buy any of my products, you are like, wait a minute, like this woman just has more because I will always te teach you my best but no on the inside, there will be more. So to grow your audience, Alex, that answer to that question is show up with your best content and with your best value. Um, that strategy I give you guys in terms of talking to yourself and teaching your content and then extracting it is going to help you. Put those exact principles out online. Create graphics, create teachings, create resources that you give away for free. Become the best giver, the biggest giver on social that grows your audience. There are times that I go into groups that are not my groups and I say, okay, today I have some time. Who wants to create a course and needs a course idea? Drop a comment below and I'm going to create a course for you or give you a course idea. When I go into those groups and I put that, people comment under it and they say, oh, I have this business. I want to create a course. What ideas do you have? I take time in one day and there was one post that I responded to over 200 people and gave them free courses that they could create, take that information and then go create courses in, um, in their business. Do you know what that did for my brand? It brought people to my brand to look into how I create courses. It brought me clients. It brought me members into this group and it grew my voice. And now in groups, when anybody says I'm trying to create a course, guess what happens? People tag me because they've seen me giving value free in groups. Give away your best stuff, guys. Give it away, give it away, give it away. You're not going to run out. And listen, as, as long as we grow, we're going to learn new stuff. Things that I know now, I didn't know five years ago. And so I give it away now. And when you give away, there is room for more. Um, I use biblical principles in my business. So every time I launch a program, I tend to give free or very discounted to one or a couple people because it's a seed into my business at the beginning of this year i gave one person my signature program purpose revenue mapping i gave one person that program for free that person succeeded in the program 
and they told their friends that translated into two paid clients for me. I gave them something for free. My full program with access, right? Because I'm not going to lose. I don't have that mindset like um, scarcity, things are going to run out. Listen, God, if I run out, you're going to give me something else. I'm going to read something else. I'm going to be inspired by something else. So I'm teaching you everything that I have. That um, young lady did it with me, right? Told friends. Friends came and they did the program as well. So out of one seed, I was multiplication. I got two people from one seed. Grow your audience. Multiply. Take somebody and give them the full system. Teach them everything that you know. Let them get the results. And as long as the earth remains seed time and harvest, it's going to multiply in your business. So that was a long rant to give you an answer of ways to grow your business. Give your best value, show up everywhere, and give it everywhere online. I hope that answers your question, Alex. Anybody else with a question? I love the questions because it gets to, it challenges my mind and it pulls out um, deep things from the inside of me. Thank you, Paulette. I'm only blessed because I try to bless others. Like, I'm giving you guys straight strategy today for absolutely free, and I don't want anything from anyone. If you choose to coach with me, you will. If you don't, you won't. But you could take this information and win. And because you take it and you win, God's going to bless my business because he's going to send me clients. So <laughs> so that's, that's how it goes um, in terms of growth. Anybody else? And let me tell you guys, don't be afraid to show up on, on video. Listen. Is not a pen pal relationship. To grow your audience, you better show up and you better give some video content out here. Cell phones are the easiest place. I don't think you need to be fancy and you need to have the lower thirds like me and you need to have all of this. No, take your cell phone, put it on landscape, get a, a, a tripod, record yourself doing a good quality video. If you feel like your background is not good, Paint a wall in your house. This is what I did. I painted a wall in my house to match my brand. And I do my videos here all the time. Go to a, a restaurant, a coffee shop. Go to the beach. Hold your phone. Do a video. And don't be so caught up with perfection. If I was caught up in perfection five years ago, I would have never started a business and grown a brand. So don't be caught up in perfection. Listen, take that video. Don't hold it portrait. Hold it landscape. Get someone to record you or record yourself and put that content out there. Teach one principle every single day that someone could take it and say, Oh my God, yes, I'm going to do this right now for free. I get opportunities to be guests, but I don't have my program yet. Should I accept? Um, I would say once you create this system, then accept. I'm going to give you why I give you that, that particular response. You don't want to speak for free and you don't have something to point people to because then even if you speak for free, you're not able to convert that into paid income. So when you're speaking, you want to ensure that you have something that you give in terms of leverage. So those products that like, let's say you create a check sheet using this system. Um, <laughs> Krista says, I want to say the chat to the bottom. <laughs> Uh, for that, the PDF that you're going to create, you're not going to give it to free, give it away free every time that you speak. So when you speak, you're going to say, I'm giving you guys this part of my program absolutely free. And that now brings them back to you. Once they get results free from you, they are going to, um, to come back. So my answer to being a guest on other people's platforms, create your product faster. <laughs> give something, give something that pulls them back to you. Um, because otherwise you're just giving that value for free and it does not translate into long-term cash for you. Sometimes I speak free at events, but even if I speak free, I seed my programs, my products and my services. So even if I speak to free to an audience of 50 people and two people buy a product, it's payment for me for speaking for free. So it converts to income. So you want to make sure that you have something that you can give for free that converts into income, um, for your business. <laughs> that says I'm with Christopher. If you all are too much, any other business questions? I'm liking this. I should do more of this for you guys. Um, but I want to see people working this strategy first before I give you more. You can't give more unless you start working what you currently have. So I want you guys to work this strategy. Do you have any other questions? 
And thank you guys for rocking out with me on a Saturday for 45 minutes. This is amazing. This is amazing. Any other questions, thoughts, or comments? Do you guys see this big pimple that I have right here? I keep staying at it. <laughs> That's good. So everybody's good? Okay, good. You guys have an amazing Saturday. Take the information from this training. Use it. Tell me what you use. Come back and say, Coach, it worked. Or post um, post your replay. Uh, not your replays, Lord. What am I saying? Post your feedback from today's session in the group. Create a separate post, guys. And tell me how this training has helped you. And when you start working it, let me know the results that you get in your business. Have a great one. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.